ladies and gentlemen let us discuss about how to improve the economic empowerment of women worldwide only about 1 in 2 women work compared with 3 in 4 men in some low income countries such as zimbabwe and madagascar the labor force participation rate for women has reached 90% but these women are often underemployed the hard economic circumstances often force them to be self employed or work in small enterprises that are under regulated and unregistered about 83% of all domestic workers in the world are women most of whom work in precarious conditions and women also do much work unpaid work than men including caring for children the elderly and people with disabilities contributing to family farms or businesses and performing household chores such as collecting water or gathering firewood but they are not being paid improving women's livelihoods constitutes basic human rights protection but could including more women in the labor force also stimulate economic growth enhance business competitiveness and improve well-being this is a big question by reducing the gender pay gap and equalizing access to economic opportunities and resources are good for economic social and business development for example some firms that purposely reduced gender discrimination and supported family friendly policies attracted more talented workers improved retention rates and decreased employee stress resulting in enhanced productivity but women face significant barriers to improving their mm. lives such as fear of victimization and violence lack of child care and legal and informal discrimination removing those barriers could help draw women into higher productivity sectors and improve family community and national prosperity broad based and gender specific policies can enable women's economic empowerment that is improving women's ability to make decisions and affect outcomes important to themselves and their families so let us see some of the broad based policies number 1 promote economic growth so in countries experiencing rapid economic growth increasing demand for labor and the availability of better paying jobs ensures that women's economic empowerment does not become a zero sum game between men and women when the economy demands more workers women will not replace men if more women participate in the labor market number 2 invest in public services infrastructure and women friendly public spaces and transportation the quality of and access to public services including basic utilities such as water and sanitation improves all around well being through greater economic productivity and growth but may be especially beneficial for women for example because women do most of the household work and electricity and tap water can free up their time enabling greater labor market participation and access to speedy and reliable transportation can reduce safety concerns that discourage women from entering into the labor force or limit them uh, to working at home number 3 promote innovation and technology information and communications technology can help increase women's inclusion in the economy particularly in high productivity service sectors 
Greater access to information and technology can also stimulate changes in social norms and attitudes toward women's roles in society, potentially improving access to education and political involvement. Then some of the gender specific policies like provide child care. Evidence suggests that the availability of child care is strongly associated with the increase in women's labor force, participation and productivity. Child care, particularly high quality child care is one of the most important enablers of women's economic empowerment and can have a positive impact on children's learning. Next, change laws that limit women's economic independence. Reforming inheritance and family law to lift prohibitions on daughters' legacies and to reduce husband's power over wife's economic activity can have positive economic effects going beyond the specific outcomes they are intended to address. And then improve or reduce work in the informal sector. Women are concentrated in the informal sector, which includes jobs that are unregulated and insecure like street vending, policies designed to move workers from the informal sector to the formal sector can significantly benefit women. There's no doubt about it. Working in the formal economy is more likely to empower women because it is associated more with the control over their own incomes than they would have in informal work. Evidence suggests that strengthening the collective bargaining capacity of women workers in this sector and improving awareness of women's rights is important to ensuring that income levels and working conditions improve in the formal economy. Enacting these policies will not only empower women, but will also benefit their families and communities. So let us all work towards improving the economic empowerment of women. Stay blessed.